Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to learn subtraction of 5 digit numbers with regrouping concept. Here, regrouping means borrowing. We know that subtraction is one of the mathematical operations on numbers. We are seeing this concept in class 4 now. Let us go into the details of this video. First, let us begin the subtraction of two five digit numbers which does not involve any regrouping or borrowing. Subtract 26,132 from 67,579. I have chosen this sum to quickly refresh the concept of subtraction before we go into the regrouping concepts. First, write down the numbers one below the other. Always, it's a good practice to write down the place values ones, tens, hundreds, thousands and ten thousand. Next, begin the subtraction from the ones place. In ones place, we have nine minus two. Nine minus two is seven. Next, move on to the tens place. Seven minus three is four. Next, move on to the hundreds place. Five minus one is four. Next, move to the thousands place where you have 7 minus 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. Next, finally, move on to the ten thousands place where you have 6 minus 2 and 6 minus 2 is 4. So, the subtraction of these two five digit numbers 67,579 minus 26,132 will give you the answer 41,447. In the upcoming sums, we are going to see regrouping of the tens place, hundreds place, thousands place and also the ten thousands place to carry out the subtraction. So stay with me till the end of this video. Let us begin with the first sum. Subtract 47,168 from 59,873. First, write down the numbers one below the other and write down the place values. Begin the subtraction from the ones place. Here in ones place we have 3 minus 8. We know that 8 is greater than 3. So we cannot subtract it directly. So we are going to use the borrowing or the regrouping concept. So move to the tens place and see where you have 7 tens. We can regroup 7 tens as 6 tens plus 1 ten which will give you 7 tens. That 1 10 can be written as 10 ones. So 7 tens is equal to 6 tens plus 10 ones. So you can write in the tens place 6 and take this 10 ones to the ones place. In the ones place we already have 3 ones. So 3 ones plus 10 ones will give you 13 ones. So the ones place will have the number 13 ones now. So now you can subtract the ones place 13 minus 8. 13 minus 8 will give you 5. Hope you understood how we are doing the regrouping or the borrowing concept. Next move on to the tens place. Here we have 6 minus 6 now. When the number is subtracted from itself you get the answer to be 0. So next move on to the hundreds place. 8 minus 1 is 7. In the thousands place, we have 9 minus 7. 9 minus 7 is 2. And in the ten thousands place, we have 5 minus 4, which is 1. So, the difference between the two numbers, 59,873 and 47,168 is 12,705. Let us do the next example. Here, in the previous sum, we regrouped the tens place. Now in this sum, we are going to regroup the hundreds place and do the subtraction. Let us see and understand how this is done. Write down the two numbers one below the other and then write down the place values. Begin the subtraction from the ones place. In the ones place we have 5 minus 6. We know that 6 is bigger than 5. So you cannot do this subtraction. So you move on to the tens place where you have 4 tens. 4 tens can be written as 3 tens plus 10 ones. So 
retain the three tens in the tens place and take this ten ones to the ones place. But in ones place you already have five ones. So five ones plus ten ones will give you fifteen ones. Now in ones place you have fifteen ones. Now you can subtract the numbers in the ones place. Fifteen minus six will give you nine. Next move to the tens place. We have three minus five. Here again we know that. 5 is greater than 3. So, we'll have to regroup the hundreds place now where you have 4 hundreds. 4 hundreds can be written as 3 hundreds plus 100. 100 is nothing but 10 tenths. So, 4 hundreds is equal to 3 hundreds plus 10 tenths. So, retain the 3 hundreds in the hundreds place and take this 10 tenths to the tenths place. In tenths place, you already have 3 tenths. So, 3 tenths plus 10 tenths will give you 13 tenths. So, now in the tenths place, you have 13. So, 13 minus 5 will give you 8. Next, move on to the hundreds place for subtraction now. Here, 3 minus 2, you can do the subtraction and you get the answer 1. Next, in the thousands place, you have 8 minus 3. 8 minus 3 is 5. Next, move on to the ten thousands place where you have 9 minus 7. 9 minus 7 is 2. So, the subtraction of the two numbers 98,445 minus 73,256 is giving you the difference. So, the answer to be 25,189. Let us do the next sum now. Subtract 40,589 from 73,574. So, write down the numbers one below the other and write down the place values. Begin the subtraction from the ones place. Here in ones place we have 4 minus 9. We know that 9 is bigger than 4. So, we will have to regroup the tens place to proceed with the subtraction now. In tens place you have 7 tens which can be written as 6 tens plus 10 ones. So, retain the 6 tens in the tens place and take the 10 ones to the ones place. In ones place you already have 4 ones. So, when you add 4 ones plus 10 ones, you will get 14 ones. So, now in the ones place you have the number 14. So, you can subtract 14 minus 9 and you get the answer to be 5. Next, move to the tens place. Here again, 8 is bigger than 6. So, you cannot subtract this subtraction of 6 minus 8. So, now we have to regroup the hundreds place where you have 5 hundreds, which can be written as 4 hundreds plus 10 tens. So, retain the four hundreds in the hundreds place and take the ten tens to the tens place. In tens place, you already have six tens. When you add it up with ten tens, you get sixteen tens. Now, in the tens place, you have the number sixteen. So, sixteen minus eight will give you eight. Next, move on to the hundreds place now for the subtraction. In hundreds place, we have four minus five. We know that 5 is greater than 4. So, now we will have to regroup the thousands place to do this subtraction. So, in thousands place you have three thousands. Three thousands can be written as two thousands plus one thousand. That one thousand is nothing but ten hundreds. So, three thousands is equal to two thousands plus ten hundreds. So, retain the two thousands in the thousands place and take the ten hundreds to the hundreds place. In hundreds place, you already have four hundreds. So, when you add it up with ten hundreds, you will get fourteen hundreds. So, in hundreds place, now you have fourteen. So, fourteen minus five will give you nine. Next, move on to the thousands place where you have two minus zero. When zero is subtracted from any number, you get the same number. So, two minus zero is two. And then in the ten thousands place, you have seven minus four, which will give you three. So, the difference between the two numbers is 32,985. Hope you are able to understand so far. In the next sum, we are going to see how to regroup the 10,000s place. And I have also included sums in which the bigger number has 0 in it. So, that let us see how to do the subtraction when you have zeros in the bigger number. The next sum that we are going to do is subtract 45,839 from 63,427. So, write down the numbers one below the other and also write down the place values. Begin the subtraction from the ones place. Here we have 
7 minus 9, we know that 9 is greater than 7. So, degrouping the tens place, you get 2 tens is equal to 1 ten plus 10 ones. Retain the 1 ten in the tens place and take the 10 ones to the ones place. So, in ones place, you already have 7 ones. 7 ones plus 10 ones will give you 17 ones. So, in ones place, now you have 17. 17 minus 9 is 8. Next, move on to the tens place where you have to do 1 minus 3 now. We know that 3 is greater than 1. So, now you have to regroup the hundreds place where you have 4 hundreds. 4 hundreds can be written as 3 hundreds plus 10 tens. So, retain the 3 hundreds in the hundreds place and take the 10 tens to the tens place. In tens place, you already have 1 ten. So, 1 ten plus 10 tens will give you 11 tens. So, now you have 11 in the tens place. So, 11 minus 3 can be subtracted and you get the answer to be 8 again. Next, move on to the hundreds place where you have to do 3 minus 8. Here again, we know that 8 is greater than 3. So, go to the thousands place and regroup the number in the thousands place. You have 3 thousands in thousands place. So, it can be regrouped as 2 thousands plus 10 hundreds. So, retain the 2 thousands in the thousands place and take the 10 hundreds to the hundreds place. In hundreds place, you already have 3 hundreds. So, 3 hundreds plus 10 hundreds will give you 13 hundreds. So, now in the hundreds place, we have the number 13. 13 minus 8 will give you 5. Next, come to the thousands place again where you have 2 minus 5 which cannot be done because we know that 5 is bigger than 2. So, now move on to the 10 thousands place. So, in this sum, we are going to regroup the 10 thousands place also where you have 6 10 thousands. 6 10 thousands can be written as 5 10 thousands plus 1 10 thousand or 10 thousands. So, retain 5 10 thousands in the 10 thousands place and take that 10 thousands to the thousands place. In thousands place, we have already 2 thousands. So, 2 thousands plus 10 thousands will give you 12 thousands. So, in the thousands place, we will have the digit 12 now. So, 12 minus 5 will give you 7. Next, finally, you want to subtract the digits in the 10 thousands place. 5 minus 4 will give you 1. So, when you subtract 45,839 from 63,427, you will get the difference to be 17,588. The next sum is going to be interesting where you will have zeros in the bigger number as I said you in the beginning of this video. So, subtract 23,456 from 80,000. So, write down the numbers one below the other and write down the place values. Begin the subtraction from the ones place. 0 minus 6. You cannot do this because 6 is bigger than 0. Next, move on to the tens place. Here again, you have 0 minus 5, but 5 is bigger than 0. Next, move to the hundreds place where you have 0 minus 4. Here again, 4 is greater than 0. So, next, move on to the thousands place where 3 is greater than 0. So, finally, you go to the ten thousands place where you have 8 ten thousands, which can be regrouped as 7 ten thousands plus 10 thousands. So, retain the 7 ten thousands in the ten thousands place. And take the ten thousands to the thousands place. So, now in thousands place, you will have ten. Now, again, we have to regroup this ten thousands, which is equal to nine thousands plus ten hundreds. So, when you regroup, you will retain nine thousands in the thousands place and ten hundreds moves to the hundreds place. Now, again, you will have to regroup the digits in the hundreds place. Ten hundreds can be regrouped as nine hundreds plus ten tens. So, retain the nine hundreds in the hundreds place. And take the 10 tens to the tens place. Now again you are going to regroup the digits in the tens place. 10 tens is equal to 9 tens plus 10 ones. So you will get 9 in the tens place and 10 ones. Now you can do the subtraction very easily. 10 minus 6 is 4. 9 minus 5 is 4. 9 minus 4 is 5. 9 minus 3 is 6. And 7 minus 2 is 5. So difference between the two numbers is 56,544. Hope you found this sum to be very interesting. I have given one more sum with zeros in the bigger number. You can work out this sum and verify the answer. These are all the learning outcome in class 4 under the topic subtraction. The first topic has been covered in this video. The remaining topics will be covered in separate videos. Links to all the related videos will be given below in the description box. Thank you for watching my video.
See you in the next video with the next topic on subtraction.